Hello, so long for this. Ah, uh, there I go again. It's like every freaking video starts out that way. Sorry for no post for, for such a long time. Yeah, let's get that over with. Anyways, today I got here my paper ballistics knife. And yes, it does shoot thanks to the spring. No, there is not a tutorial coming soon, mostly because this spring is hard as hell to track down. Mostly because I had to get this from an airsoft gun. Now, how many of you are willing to take apart your airsoft gun for a spring for to make a ballistics knife that you're probably going to fail at? Right? Take a chance. Now, I'm going to give you a short demonstration of this before I explain to you what each part is. This thing does not have the power to pierce a simple thin cardboard box. Instead, it'll just dent it slightly and it'll bounce right back out. And now that's at point blank range. This thing won't shoot anywhere past 10 feet unless I were to throw it. And even then, hitting something is, you know, zilla now. I might as well just close my eyes and spin around in circles and hope for a headshot. <laughs> But anyways, for those of you who played Black Ops, yes, this is the same ballistics knife. Well, not exactly the same model, but you kind of get the concept. Google it. Why do I even bother asking? This is an airsoft spring, as I said. This is the main spring that compresses the piston. This is a um, 200 FPS gun I took this out of. Well, the gun broke, more like, so I salvaged the parts. And luckily, this spring came in handy. The tube is comprised of a hardened paper tube, which is simply made by putting glue on a piece of paper and rolling it. It's the same diameter as the insides of um, a water bottle cap, so you can use that as a um, guide, measurement rail, whatever. I put the cap in as a, um, as a stopper to keep the spring from flying out, because paper isn't going to hold it in. What I simply did was just cut the... Um, the mouthpiece off, took the cap, screwed that on, and hot glued it in place. Of course, the cap is still removable. Of course, you have the time and patience, too. You can cut multiple caps, glue them end to end, and use the bottle caps to form the entire tube. It's a little more preferable, it's a little more time consuming. Although the trigger will need some uh, cutting around these rings, which I don't have power tools for, and conventional, not conventional knives just simply aren't sharp enough. Or it's too risky if you have a really, really sharp knife, because a piece of plastic can break in unpredictable ways. Trust me, it's not fun. <laughs> um, I forgot to explain some more. This is just a paper clip I took and twisted and hot glued to the inside of this, as you can see. This is what holds the blade back after the spring has been compressed. This is obviously the firing mechanism. This is that the the what's it called? The button, the switch, the whatever the hell. I did not do my research. This is just a simple binder clip, small size. Safety, you might as well just flip that over. Something with this spring, you're not going to make anything out of paper that's going to keep it in place. I've tried. Because paper is porous and it'll rip the glue out. This, I don't know why it won't, but hey, it doesn't. So why the hell complain? How this works is simply, if I don't stab the camera in the face, you can see how that works, right? It just simply grabs around the um, side of the blade's tang, I guess that's what it was, what it'd be called on a ballistics knife. I don't know. These two holes were for something else I tried, didn't work, so disregard those holes. This is made out of paper, and this is just a simply cut popsicle stick. This stretches just a little bit in here because I forgot to put that in when I attached this. Now for a core on this thing, this is um, a rolled up piece of paper, same one I use for my arrows. And 
it simply wrapped with paper over and over and over again until I got the thickness I want and the spring would actually sit right there I don't know if you can see it or not uh, focus will you see that I'm gonna put the spring on there it would look something like that and it would just simply compress when inside the little snub here is just to act like, you know, it was a spring guide until I figured it got in the way, so I just cut it off. Um, unfortunately, there won't be a tutorial on this anytime soon, mostly because of the spring. As I said, the they are hard to come by, and uh, I might make one out of a pen spring, but not this. Yeah, told you the inaccuracy was a little unreliable. I don't know how the Russians do it, but I'm not Russian.